what is still going on in Jesus' name. Because right about now, I feel my help.
not an option. It's off the table. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, failure is not an option. So you have to do what you want. I heard you say this morning, you can do no more than the Lord of God. Because failure is not Go ahead and touch Job. 
skin for skin, I'm having to come all the way here. God said, go ahead and touch it. He said, but you got a hedge around it. Why does stuff come in? Somebody asked a question. Do saints get sick? Do saints go through this? Do saints go through that? Maybe at that point, the Lord just lowered the hedge a little bit. So go ahead. Yes. But I need you to know something. When you see me walking, <laughs> he got me. He got me. Just like he touched the joke and he lost all that he had. Mm. If you take the hedge down, they'll curse you to your face. Let them lose everything. Take, you know why I watch a lot of times on TV? I'm on YouTube. I don't know why. Maybe one day we'll be out there this year. I watch how people build um, those shelters in the snow. And I say, wait, I'm not going to be able to shelter in the snow. Wait, what I got to protect me from the bear. They'll come in, eat me, nobody will never know. But then I look a little closer. They have confidence in what they build. So we have to have confidence in the inner man that's being built within us. So that's as we go along, Job, no, oh, oh, yeah. So there's Job's wife. I'm coming back over, y'all. Job's like, look now. Come on. Job, this don't make no sense. You've lost everything. Curse God and die. I don't know how many times she said it. It don't matter what she said in that one time. Maybe more. Job said, you speak as a foolish woman. I know my redeemer lives. I'm going to see him in the last days. Hallelujah. Man is born of a woman is full of trouble. We got trouble. But let me get back to Jesus. There was Jesus praying. He got up the first time. He went and the disciples were asleep. He said, look, so let's wait. You can't watch me for one hour. All right. He go back and pray again. Notice he didn't change his prayer. I didn't see where he changed it. He said, Lord, if it be possible. Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass. You can pick it up in, in Psalms. I, I, I realized this this morning that we recorded a lot, but do we realize what we're calling? What shall I, this individual, render unto the Lord for all his benefits unto me? He gives me a lot of things. He touches me. He blesses my children, the baby, all of us. I will. That's a rough one. I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. So Jesus went back the second time and he prayed and at one point, uh -huh. I don't know if it was the third time, but the second time I kind of got excited here as the great drops of the light. But you know what I love about God? He got up, he went, the boys were sleeping still. The last time he said, sleep on. Go ahead and touch this. Because he realized that was his cup. He knew it. But he was going to go because more than just his brother right there, the whole world rested upon him. He had to go. He had to die. As we were going to write to the tree of life. So by that last time, or however you want to say it, God sent something to him. You know what I love? How God does things. And he does it bad. He sent an angel to send an angel. You ever been at your last weekend and feel like the next step is going to be your last? The next test is going to be your last. You're tired. You're up against the wall. Everything's turning against you. Been there, did that. But somewhere, as you keep walking, it's, oh my God, like me right now, I'm feeling okay. I'm not, what I felt this morning, I'm with the bishop to say, you know what, babe, I'm really not feeling well. But you know what? Not my will. That will be done. Because he told me failure is not an option. It's not. So no matter what comes in our life, what goes, failure is not an option. When Jesus looked at the whole thing, then he said, not my will, but thy will be done. What is the will of the Lord concerning us today? Am I doing 
nice and perfect will. Yes. You can answer that. Yes. Are we going to get through here without anything? No. Since I heard about your heart. Yes. Different testimonies. But Jesus is right there. The song says, what he's done for me. It's so amazing. So amazing. The love he has for me. I cannot explain. Mm, mm, mm. All I know. Is the way I feel. I'm thinking of another song. But in the word today, as I searched it, and I searched it, and the Lord took me through his life. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. Child is gone. The widow, whose son was dead, he was walking by. Neighbor, she would come on down through the line. And she said, Kids, come on down. I'm going to abide at your house today. We need him. He has never, ever failed us. So when the enemy looked and saw how I felt, it stood up more stronger. Failure is not an option. I didn't tell you you were going to go and feel good every time you do something. To stand strong, to go through, is going to cost us something like it has. I'm not talking to people that haven't had it. Nehemiah said, I can't come down. Come on down. I can't come down. I'm doing a great work. That's what we have to stand on. I'm doing a great work. Because failure is not an option. I looked at that up, y'all. I did. I said, who said that? It was a powerful team that they were talking about in the history that I looked at. But then a man that was in on your power 13, they said he said it, but he really didn't. It was someone else that said that. Failure is not an option. When we look at whatever we want to, if Jesus had given up, where would we be? The devil was at him just like he's at us. But my righteous servant will do what is. To go through with us. That's why you can say very easily, let not your heart be troubled. Yes, you're going through. Yes, there are tests. Yes, there are trials. You believe in God, believe in me. But you know the one I love? For a while, we were yet sinners. Mm -hmm. Christ died. He died for me. You can say that. He died for me. And then I look and he said to him, that overcometh. Well, I grant to sit with me. Come on now. We got promises. And it keeps us word. So look at our lives and strengthen those things that remain and are ready. They're ready to die. Look at us. You know what? Ready? Get out of my mouth. Because failure is not option in my life. If I allow the enemy to come in and take away my joy, who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulation? Shall distress? Shall famine? What shall separate me from the love of God? Even if you don't see me, know that I'm praising him. If you don't see me, call my name out. If you don't see me, lift him up. Because it didn't bring us this far to leave us. Never said we wouldn't have trials. We're going to have them. But the blessing is the man that endureth temptation. And we talked about it in Sunday school this morning. Count it all. Y'all didn't sound like joy right there. <laughs> Count it all. When you fall into dire temptation. This is the trial of our faith. I love him this morning because he gave me something to hold on to. He's marching us to stand strong. We've got the whole armor on. Because we're wrestling not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness. High places. High places. 
mujeres. So lay hold on eternal life. It's in us. It's not going to be long. Some say it won't be long. Soon we'll be leaving here. Our eyes and mind and heart are set on heaven. Because we're setting up our timber every day. I love the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Yes. Jesus went on to that cross. And he had this promise. God said, I will not leave your soul in hell. You know the scripture. Neither shall my Holy One see corruption. It won't be like this always. We're going to have some good days. And we're going to have some bad days. But all of our good days outweigh our bad days. I won't complain. Because the blood has never lost its power. It reaches. It flows. The blood. We are covered See, if you don't get nothing else this morning, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better. Because I know that failure is not an option in my life. No matter how the winds blow. Somebody said, though the winds keep on blowing in my life. Is there? Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases. Is here. People are slipping away. We know the economy's down. We know the songs. But you know what I love? It's an old, old song. I ain't gonna sing it. I'm just gonna quote some of the words before I sit down. Oh, I didn't read my scripture down. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm just gonna give you this. When the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. All right? Because I, I'm, I'm just in there. But we're going to make this journey. And, and the song was Jesus. On the main line. Tell him what you want. Call him up and tell him what you want. If you need more power, if you need more joy, if you need more peace, if you need more what? Anything. Call him up. Call him up. Because he's there, he's waiting for us. We have not because we ask him. I tell you, the Lord is so good. If you only knew how I was feeling this morning, I think Minister White asked me in the office how I was feeling. I didn't really tell him. Uh, because I knew I, I knew the Lord. Well, we know the Lord is good. But please take this with you every step. No matter what the doctors say, no matter what you're faced with. Even in your marriage, even in your walk of life, school, whatever. Look at that thing as a failure. You see them two right there? Y'all didn't hear this testimony. But if she had thought that failure was, that wasn't an option, she not going to take that test. She got to give you that testimony. I was moved. Bro got the job. He was surprised. Don't be surprised when God shows up and sends his son. Don't be surprised. Because when he shows up, he shows up. He says, I rule in the kingdom. Oh, have mercy. So when he's ruling, and I'm his child, ask what you will. Long as my way is pleasing, he'll give me the desires of my heart. And step the way. He'll go with us. There's another one we used to sing in the choral group. Melodies from heaven. Rain down on me. Rain down on me. Take me in your arms and hold me close. Rain down on me. Fair is not an option, Savior.
times have we been to the point where it seems like everything around is so dark? And the only thing that you can do or when the enemy tells you the last choice you have is just to give up. You've been going to church for so long but look where you are now. Where is the Lord that you have served for so many years? Can you picture Israel coming out of Egypt after crying unto the Lord for 430 years? You talk about your five year problem or your two weeks problem or even the man at the pool has his infirmity for 38 years and the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years. Israel was under bondage for 430 years. And they cried unto the Lord. And the Lord delivered them. He brought them out. And they were free, free, free. Until not murmuring, complain yet. Until they reach to the Red Sea, many of you are saying, "Oh yeah, Pharaoh behind them." Forget about Pharaoh being behind them. We have a Red Sea in front of us, and Moses, we have no boat. We have no ship. And we know the Red Sea is deep. Forget about Pharaoh behind me. How are we going to get across that? And then they start murmuring and complaining. And as that happened, some of them said, Wish to God we were back. You know what that is? Failure. I'm talking about the failure that you see when you think God has forsaken you. Just like she said with Job. When Job's wife saw Job in the condition, never ever she ever talked about the luxurious life that she lived. She never talked about that. She didn't say, Job, I remember when we had some good times. I remember when I used to wear all the fancy clothes. And I was the talk of the town. Mrs. Job, I remember that. All she could say was the end was here. I've lost 10 kids. My wealth and everything is gone. Mr. Job just Give it up. Just curse God and die. I'm talking about failure. But in Job's eye, that was no failure. Job said, but the Lord give it, and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. See no failure, Job saw the Lord. And Job looked beyond himself and saw God. And Job said, Don't you see me? Yet I will trust him because failure is not an option. Oh, I need to come. I need to come and sit down. Because failure is not an option. It may look that way to you. It may seem that way to you. Your back may be against the wall, but I am not going to give up because I know my Redeemer liveth. I know. I just don't believe. I know. There's a difference with believing and a difference with knowing after you've moved from believing. 
Israel came out, we are just going to turn back and go to Egypt land. And when they looked around, they saw Pharaoh now coming behind them. They are saying, we are done. Let's just give it up. Roll over and pay dead. Failure. Moses, you have failed us. But it wasn't Moses that was being blamed for the failure. It was God. It was God. And Moses told them under the inspiration from God. The, let me just paraphrase this. The failure you see now, you will Oh, 
when you go to salvation well, fill your bucket to the brim. Yes. Fill it up. One songwriter says, I'm drinking from my saucer. I don't know if you use saucers here. You know, you talk about cup and saucer. He says, I'm drinking from my saucer because my cup has overflowed. You get it? When your cup has overflowed, then you drink from the saucer. If you are not saved here today, the enemy has you just where he wants you. But let me say to you, there is a deliverer. And his name is Jesus. He saved me one day. And as you look around, he saved some of all of us. Not some of us. Oh, glory be to God. Not just some of us. He saved all the redeemed one day. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. He has redeemed you. If you're not saved, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. You're going through a lot. Come to Jesus. The song writer says, Though the storm keeps on raging in my life. Will you come to Jesus? And sometimes it's hard to tell the night from the day.
make him walk on the waters, that's impossible. Those things are impossible with God. There's nothing impossible with God. Amen. He will bring you out all right. Things might seem to be impossible, but they're yet impossible with God. We got to trust Him. We got to trust Him. We got to trust Him. Now we're going to look unto the hills where our help comes from. Our help comes from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Lord, we thank you right now. Lord, bless us right now. We are your children, Lord. We are waiting on you. In the name, in the name of Jesus, let it be done. Bless the Lord right now. We are trusting you, Lord. Do it for us right now. Lord, failure is not an option. Lord, you can never fail. You have not failed. Lord, we understand. The tests and the trials we're going through, it's just temporary. It's just for a little while. But Lord, we thank you right now. Touch us, Lord. Bless us, Lord. Bless us what we need, Lord. Lord, walk in our life and in force, Lord. Lord, clear the way for us. Lord, show us the victory that you have, Lord. Bless us, Lord. Take care of us. Stand by us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lord, in the dark times, stand by us. Lord, we thank you right now for all things. We thank you for all things. Lord. Do it right now. Bless us. Heal, Lord. Deliver. Lord, bless and save. Lord, our children need to be saved. Our children need to be delivered. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watch over by day and by night. All the dangers of the street keep us, Lord, from day to day. We're watching over you, Lord. Bless us right now. We are praising you, Lord, all the days of our life. Oh, let your word be your word. Bless us, Lord. Thank you, 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 Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you right now. Thank you, Lord. And we are praising you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. What a victory. What love, what love.
probably surrounding us every day. But we can lift up. Praise the Lord. Our gifting grows now. And because of the gifting grows now, amen, close, closer to thee. I want to be closer to thee. Praise the Lord. God is good. I enjoyed that message. That message was for me. That message was for me. I got a message out of the message. I was sitting there and didn't get a message out of the message. Amen. But that's how it is. I got a message for Minister Sue. Why was it exalted on the message? Beautiful. Beautiful. I thank the ministers of this church. I thank the Lord for the sisters and I ain't taking nothing from nobody. 